I see many people teaching self-denial. They tell people, fast for 21 days. You will kill immorality. Try it. You will come back and tell me it didn't work. They will tell you, fast for 40 days. You will kill masturbation. Sir, try it. When you finish, come back. You will discover it, it doesn't work. Anybody that gives you formula for dealing with flesh is also struggling with flesh. Because he has not known it. There is no formula, sir. It's a law, and these laws are spiritual laws. It's called the law of sin and death. It will always overpower the law of the mind. Paul, the great apostle, struggled until he said, O oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body of sin? And then he entered Romans chapter 8 from verse 1. He now showed us that the second law, which is the second component of the gospel of the kingdom, is the law of life. So anybody who comes into self-denial, the moment he makes up his mind and repents and accepts the verdict of self-denial, the Holy Ghost will lead him to the second aspect of the gospel of the kingdom. And the second aspect of that gospel um, in the realms of inauguration is the law of the spirit of life. And see what Paul said. He said, for the law of the spirit of life that is in Christ Jesus have set me free from the law of sin and death so this thing is not willpower working it's laws countering laws the law of the mind desires to do the will of god the law of sin and death counters the law of the mind and if you remain there you can't do it until you submit to the law of life the law of life counters the law of sin and death and paul showed us he said the way to activate the law of life is not by walking it's by submitting